Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be doing a purple look. Ugh. Did you know this lion on me? I got my hat on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Purple is my favorite color, so I will be talking some Did throughout this video, but clearly the background is getting on my nerves. JB, they ain't sudden you. Now hush up now. First off, I want to say thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. One of my subscribers, you guys, sent me a bunch of makeup. Look, honey, at first I was like, I got this one first, sis. We're gonna call her T because I don't wanna. But thank you, sis. First, I got this in the mail. And when it came in, it said it had my name and it said a net mint. And I was like, I was like, oh, oh, hell no. One of my subscribers done found me. I'm being stopped. Thank you for my medicine, you guys. JB, hush. He's, he thought you sent him his medicine in the mail, child. Because <laughs> I ordered him some, some supplements. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, JB. I forgot that a couple of months ago that one of you guys said that my address was appearing in one of my vlogs. So I moved it down. I took that, this it's really for JB. I moved that piece of paper down. Well, I noticed like literally last month, there was another vlog that still showed it. So I completely moved that. So that's how she found my address. That's how she got my address. I mean, at least that's how I think she got it. Um, but then I got these um, wet and raw makeup brushes. I just got all this different makeup. I was having a hell of a week last week, um, sis, so thank you. So yeah, let me hush up and start doing my makeup. I'm putting on my primer first. Very simple. Let me tell y'all what's been going on. Still blessed and highly favored. Love me some Clark sisters. So, JB has been home with me. This is primer, by the way, primer. JB has been home with me because I've had to pull him out of school. <sighs> Situation came up at his school. He's in, eating cereal, child. Tuesday when I went to go pick him up, he tells me, that there was an issue with them napping. That when he tried to put his blanket down, he couldn't do it right. He tried to have, the, he asked the teacher to help. Um, when he told her, she was basically like, so what? And I'm thinking, well, maybe she's having a bad day. I'm gonna let it slide, right? Uh -huh. Ooh. So then, as we're driving home, right, he's like, and she sat on me. That's what I'm like. Ooh, what do you mean she said over he's she kept asking him to put his head down and when she when he wouldn't he was laying down already ready for now anyway this help up receipts to he kept putting his head putting his head up he was laying down he kept putting his head up and so so that he would stop doing that this type of proceeded to go over to my baby and place both of her adult ass legs on my child's back i turned my car completely around at this point because we were heading home and so at that I'm, I'm drilling him and thank god jb and i have a relationship to where he can come and tell me stuff he's not afraid to you know so he said he was kind of crying he was sad he, it didn't hurt him um but he was sad he was crying and he said, what broke my heart, he said, and she didn't care. That broke my heart to priest pieces. I went over to, immediately spoke to the assistant, one of the assistant directors, told her what happened, said she, she placed her body part on my child's body. At one point he said he couldn't breathe. And I think the, JB has asthma, but because he was crying and she had her legs on it, she wasn't, it wasn't hurting him, but the pressure of it, when I tell you that the teacher had left, I was gonna go up there, question her, restrain myself from doing anything else, but I wanted to know why would you lay, why would you touch my child? Why would you put your body part somewhere? And I, I don't know what her intentions are. So that happened. I thought about it all week, all, all day, excuse me. The next day I called back up there, spoke to the assistant director, let her know what happened. And I said, I will be pulling my child out of this school. I want to know what are you gonna do about this? She's like, oh, I'm gonna talk to her. You know, I'm pretty sure that wasn't her intention. She was mortified. But she said, I'm pretty sure that's not her, what her intentions are. I said, I don't know what her intentions are. And she's a young girl, young 22 year old girl. 
not that that matters, but when you have to care for toddlers at that age, three, four, you have to have a certain level of maturity. And clearly she doesn't. When I tell you that, that set my mood. That, that, that just really did me in. So, and again, he wasn't hurt, but it's how he felt. He felt sad. I mean, I, we tried to reenact it. When I had him lay down, I placed my legs on him. I said, was it like this? Again, I asked him, I said, did it hurt? He said, no, it doesn't matter because it's how he felt at the moment. And he even said, she's mean. I don't want to go to that mean teacher. I want to go to another classroom. Oh, y'all. So I pulled him out. Basically, I'm going to report them. I didn't brush my teeth. Well, you need to brush your teeth, baby. No! I'm gonna go up there. I didn't go up there this week. I didn't physically, because I'm too emotional. I'm still emotional. I'm gonna go up there in a couple more days. I'm gonna gather his luggage, I mean, his backpack. I'm gonna speak to the to the director again, reiterate again, how this is not acceptable. But this is, this is why I think nothing's gonna happen. I ran into his other teacher yesterday at Walmart. I said, oh, you know, I'm gonna come get JV's, you know, nonchalantly making small talk. Cause I'm thinking by now, it's been about four days that so you would know by now that my child is no longer in your classroom, right? Cause this is the morning teacher, the teacher that put her legs, I mean, it was the afternoon teacher, right? I said, I'm gonna come get JV's stuff. She's like, oh yeah, it's up there. You know, it's okay. I was like, but JV's not coming back to school there. Do you not know what happened? She had no idea what I was talking about. The fact that you have not communicated to one of your teachers what happened leads me to believe that they're not gonna do anything. So when I told my husband that, he said go ahead and report them. good we're good his birthday is next friday he's turning five yeah he's excited about that um i am interviewing places well this coming week and he should be at a new school within a week yeah all right y'all i've been i'm back on to the falsies mascara i like this i want to try the um what is called peacock mascara i haven't even seen that stores yet but i want to try that but yeah you guys i didn't like that shake me look 2018 like i told y'all it is it it is the year of positivity i can feel it i've seen a couple of other people videos and we're all about being positivity positive excuse me but positivity in general um shout out to mr delightful Rhonda. <clears throat> i saw um linda's video i'm almost going to call you lenny lynn but we're not doing that anymore sis linda's video um another sister's video all about a change for 2018 i think um, but it's going it's going to be a good year y'all let me go ahead and finish this beat ryan little <laughs> yeah. You looking for something a little bit nicer? These are my church clothes. You want something a little bit nicer to wear? Uh, yeah, I need some church clothes. He I already need knows the difference. <laughs> just, just don't even get me put on going to church. <laughs> Look, y'all, I put a dressier like T on his bed. He's like, uh, where's my church clothes at, mama? <laughs> These ain't church clothes. I think it looks nice. It's casual cute. You found something, sweetheart? These are a lot nicer. That. <laughs> They're church clothes. Yeah, you put that up. Yeah, I'm rushing. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Brown. Yeah, 
yeah, I would blend lipsticks in, man. They're like, what you wearing? Uh, Revlon, Maybelline, uh, CoverGirl. Nude. All right, you guys, I am almost done. Almost done. Eyebrows are next. this eggplant color dress 10 years ago yeah no, no not 10 years ago it's been about seven years ago um very cute huh? i try to keep things real simple y'all for church i think this is already enough girls so let me show you what it looks like with the cardigan on all right so yeah that's it with the cardigan honestly this could be taken in a little bit more I'll probably have my seamstress to take in and see all that right there because this is a size 14 i'm a 12 now yeah see all that fabric look at that well, that may be a little bit too tight for church. This is okay. Oh, Ethan. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.